Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about AVAX. AVAX also looks strong. Chart reminds me a little bit of Solana and a lot of the coins are currently producing very similar structures. So it is still pushing higher here. However, in a probably rather corrective structure, um, which the, a lot of coins currently develop. Because of this structure here, A, B, C, which is a three wave move, I have to still expect, at least be ready for it, that the move here to the upside is going to become an overshooting B wave, which would eventually come down in a C wave and hit our overall target for the wave two. You know, I did highlight it before, I do tend to expect a wave two to reach the 50% retracement. If it's not doing that, it always leaves that bad taste and it could just be that we still come down once more. Yeah? So we obviously only reached here basically the area between the 38.2 FIB level and the 50% FIB level. I know some or a lot of community members entered here. I had quite a few comments, people who entered at the 38.2 FIB level, which is also what sometimes makes sense because at the 38.2 FIB level, maybe for the future, you know, the oftentimes in a wave two, you get this A wave, yeah, that ABC finished larger A. This here could be a B wave and we come down in a C wave afterwards. You tend to see those reactions to the 38.2 FIB level. And this is what might have happened here. The thing is I cannot fully rule out uh, that we come down once more. In fact, I did talk about that in the last video. However, since then the price has moved up further and broken above the recent high, which is, you know, a signal for further upside potential. However, this is still not crystal clear here, unfortunately. Yeah? And unfortunately you get these phases in the market. And why do we have this phase at the moment? We have the phase because the five wave move up was done. So that's finished. We are in a correction, I have completed the correction, which could be over, but it didn't reach the ideal target and the move up currently is choppy. It's corrective. It's not clearly impulsive. You have too many overlaps here. It's not what we had here or here. It's choppy. Yeah. Um, you can see the difference between this structure. You have a long move up, long move up, long move up. Yeah. And in between the choppiness, that was the corrective wave. So you have something similar here and therefore we have to be ready that this could just be a larger A wave here or B wave and we come down once more in C. This is likely as long as we are below 23.69, 23.70. Why is that the case? That's the case because a, let's, let me label that properly, that potential here, A B, C, because a B wave can be all the way up to the 1.38 um, length of wave A. Yeah, and you see that here, 1.38, that's the 2370 level pretty much. I didn't draw the FIPS very accurately now, but therefore the red zone, because we have entered resistance now, um, you typically even see that in such a pattern ABC, if the A wave was a three wave structure, you tend to see the B wave retrace a minimum of 90%. And we have just broken the 88.7 FIB level and got rejected. So we've just, we're just doing what you would expect in a B wave actually, um, in an overshooting B wave. Yeah. So be ready for that. I mean, it doesn't need to overshoot necessarily, but it should have at least a 90% length. We might be seeing that right now. Um, and let's see, I mean, this is still choppy again, above 23.74, above 23.70. We can expect that we are already in the third wave. This is at the moment not crystal clear. So I would say primarily, I would expect the wave two to end down there. Alternatively, it ended already at this swing low where we only hit the 38.2 FIB level and above the 23.70 level, it will unfold as a third wave and then we talk about if we rally directly from here then we talk about um, the 1.618 extension at 35 dollars yeah so even if you wait for clarity there's still a decent 
decent distance, you know, to that 3520 level um, for the 1.618 extension, which is sort of what you would expect for a third wave. Yeah, that's where we are, the current situation. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.